Brinzisek, Dora Moros Kajava. Target neutralized.
know. It's good to see another brave soul, soldier. Come on over. I'm Captain Theragwin. What do you mean by that? I take it you're new here. Black Sun. Coruscant's nastiest gang. They've infested this entire sector. The locals only venture out of their apartments when they have to scrounge for supplies. Now with no security forces, what future do they have? And Black Sun has a new game. Call it Boom. I enjoy a good game now and then. Not like this you don't. I don't think. Black Sun steals Republic supply crates, takes the supplies out, then reeks the crates with explosives. Then they set the trap crates in the street, make bets on how long before some fool tries to open them. Hasn't someone tried to do something? The locals don't know what's going on. And like I said before, security can't patrol here anymore. I tried to defuse the crates myself. The mechanics are simple, but Black Sun's everywhere. Nearly killed me last time. I can handle Black Sun. I want to make things right. That's... Thank you. That's just what I needed to hear. Now, Black Sun's explosives are pretty simple. I can show you what to do. Anything you can do, I'll be more than grateful. But be damn careful. Thanks, but not my thing. treatment plan to get those really mental smells.
gotcha. What are you doing? Get away from that! Back off! This is our Hydra supply, and we like it broken. Now get lost! What are you kids doing here? We live here. Who do you think you are, stomping in here like this? We need this water. We don't have any money, and there's nowhere else in the district to get water for free. We'll die if it gets shut off. What happened to your parents? They died in the war, alright? We're on our own now. Just leave us alone! This is the only place we've got, and the only way for us to get by. If I gave you some credits, would you be able to find a new place to go? Yeah, that'd be a start. It'll take a lot, though. Are you gonna give us enough? This should take care of you and your friends. Whoa! I've never even seen that many credits before. We can trade for a long time with these. Thanks!
target neutralized. and loaded.
neutralized. Still alive, huh? You really should have gotten out of this while you were ahead, soldier. Now you're a risk to Tavis and the rest of my people. So Havoc Squad or not, I'm going to have to kill you. You always have a choice, sir. I've made my choice. Tavis, Wraith, Needles, Gearbox, Fuse. They're like my children, and I abandoned them. I resigned and left them to fight alone, just to make a point. They need my help now more than ever. I'm not going to abandon them. Not this time. If you want to help your people, you'll help me bring them in alive. What? So Garza can have all their heads and be done with it? I don't think so. I know you're trying to get into my head, soldier, but it's not going to work. I'm just talking, sir. One soldier to another. What do we have to talk about? Our objectives are completely at odds. I'm trying to keep my people alive, and it's your mission to kill them. That's all there is to this, soldier. I served with your people, sir. I don't want to kill them. Well, you've certainly taken your time trying to kill me. Hmm. You've already compromised the relay. Even if we take you out, it's only a matter of time until Garza has this place slagged for a click in every direction. And by now, Garza will know exactly where all the defector bases are. They'll be tethered banthas, cut off from each other and all... Excuse me, sir, but shouldn't we be? The Imperials might offer help, but it won't be much. They'll all be left to die. Tavis and the others will follow your lead. If you come in peacefully, they will too. Damn. I can't believe it's come to this. Sir? All right, soldier, I'll go along with this. But if you harm a single one of my people, you will be dead within the day. Understood? You have my word on it, Carden. Let's get on with this, soldier. I can't allow you to go into enemy custody alive, Carden. Are you still here? The op's over, people. Finished. Mission failed. So get out of here while you still got the legs to carry you. You leave me no choice, sir. Ready your weapons, men. Reminds me of old times. Here's my weapon. Consider me surrendered. I'll make my way up to the Senate Tower and turn myself in. See what Garza wants to do next. I'm glad to have you back on our side. I never said I was on your side, soldier. I'm doing this for my people, not for your Republic or anything else. Anyhow, I'm sure we'll meet again. There's a relay down here that needs to be detonated. Yeah, I suppose you've got a job to do. So much work down here for nothing. See you topside, soldier. Let's go take out that relay and give Card's little baby something to think about.
realized. Please select an available travel route. Vehicle pads are currently open for business.
my new master at last. I am C2N2, steward of this vessel. It is my extreme good fortune to serve you. Glad to have you aboard. Tell me your function, C2. C2 series droids represent the latest advances in everything from starship technical maintenance to nutritional advice tailored for your specific organic needs. Welcome aboard the Rendili Hyperworks BT-7 Thunderclap, a rapid assault craft designed especially for Republic Special Forces at enormous taxpayer expense. Along with the usual accommodations, you'll find a secure captain's locker for storing valuables. Your bridge contains an ever-updating map of the galaxy. It's quite beautiful to look at. Priority alerts from the Republic Network are accessible at the Holonet console. Long-range communications are available via the Holo Terminal. And finally, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to meet. Do you have any questions, Master? Prep the ship for flight. We're leaving shortly. The ship is fueled and ready, Master. There are just a few final points we should review first. As you can see, I am not equipped for physical danger. My function is to maintain the starship as your home away from home. I am happy to assist you with any non-hazardous task, of course. I pride myself on the utmost attention to detail. Hmm. Add a little armor, some combat protocols and a blaster, and you just might be worth something. Master, please. Any non-factory modification will void my warranty. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on the bridge. The ship's computers will handle the rest. I think Havoc will start shaping into an actual squad soon. I'll recruit more soldiers as soon as I find some Havoc-worthy candidates. Makes sense. Once this unit starts growing, people's expectations of us, of you, are only gonna get bigger. That CO post could get real heavy, real quick. I was born to lead. Enjoy it while you can. Commanding a squad is no cakewalk. Nothing worse than having to choose between the success of the mission and the lives of your men. That said, a leader can't be soft on his troops. Coddling your men will only get them killed. You've got a point. I'll keep it in mind. I'm sure you'll do fine. And you've gotten us this far. Inventory report, sir. Food and medical supplies all look good, but our munitions are getting low. Thought we'd have enough to last us a year. Already requisitioned command for more. Guess I shouldn't be too surprised. See more action one day with Havoc than you've seen a month with the Dead Eyes. There's a lot of demand for a unit of our caliber. We mainly ran decapitation strikes. Neutralized enemy commanders before Republic offensive. Left the opposition leaderless, disorganized. Sometimes, we'd camp outside the enemy's base for weeks, waiting for a clear shot. Eventually, we'd hit our target, pull out, let the ground pounders mop up. You must have chalked up quite a kill count. Over two dozen confirmed. Eventually I was offered a promotion and post on Ord Mantell. Smart move career-wise. More men, more responsibility. But I wasn't interested in fighting Separatists. Must have been an awkward transition. One day I'm picking off Imperial Brass, the next I'm pacifying mobs of angry Seps. After my transfer, Commander the Dead Eyes fell to my XO, Torv. Smart kid. A little green. But the potential was there. If he learned from you, I'm sure he's a fine officer. Only so much a person could be taught about leadership. You've either got what it takes, or you don't. Come to think of it, I haven't been in contact with the Dead Eyes for a while. I should find out where they're stationed. Catch up. Sir, you should know. General Vander contacted me. Said he'd talk it over with the brass and finagled a way to get me back on Ord Mantell. Offered me my old post. 
a promotion and command of their operations there. Pretty sweet deal overall. I hope you turned him down. You're a part of Havoc Squad now. You think I'd head back to some backwater planet like Ord Mantel? Fact is, I've been hitting the Empire harder than ever since I joined Havoc Squad. I didn't enlist to win medals or promotions. I enlisted to protect the Republic. To prove my people have a place here. Glad you're finally warming up to your assignment. It's growing on me. We already lost one home to the Mandalorians. I'm not about to let the Empire take another. Every time I see you return from a mission, I thank the Maker I wasn't designed for combat. My results were less than ideal, Master. There is no excuse for this failure. 